Baby. Yeah. We have a problem. We have a problem on our hands. It, it's bad. It's bad, guys. It's bad. It's bad. I know I haven't posted for a really long time. I've been a little bit MIA. And in that time, I've become addicted to Pokemon cards. I'm recording this at the end of the second store that we go to. Because I was like, do I... Do I have an introduction to this video? No. What we're going to be doing in this video is going to some of my favorite card shops and basically just sussing out what they have. Just really cool things. I'm hoping that this video can, I don't know, like educate, but also just like, we're just vibing. We're just having a look. We're rocking up and we're seeing what they have. I hope this video is going to be useful for new collectors, old collectors, everything in between. Um, there's been some crazy cool items that I've seen. I've learned so much just from doing this and we only went to two places. Like This is something I'd want to keep doing. So if you have recommendations of where you want me to go, comment down below. So we're just going to rock up and just see. And we're going to say, what's your favorite, uh, what's your most expensive item? And then not buy it. Yeah. A new refreshing take in the Pokemon card community, me not spending money. They decided so he was here hanging out. So yeah, we got some we got to get some cards signed by him and I think he ended up signing without room. He's so cute. He's so cute. Oh my gosh. He's <laughs> so cute. <laughs> What's with the red logo on the box? So the red logo on the jungle box is an Australian exclusive. So for some reason, couldn't tell you why, but when they were printed in Australia, they put the red logo on it. I believe it's the same for a fossil box as well, but that's the only time they've ever done the red logo. Wow. And then this is base set, right? So that's base set. It's the original unlimited base set. Um, that one originated from a card shop in Knox in Victoria. Um, in 1999 and it was a single owner after that and I was lucky enough to get my hands on it. Mm. And so how much are each of them worth now? The base set box is sitting at around 22000 I would say yeah. and the jungle, red, being red logo, being unlimited, unlimited sitting at about 11000 12000 but being red logo you could probably push it up to fifteen, even more. Um, but they're very scarce, so they're very hard to price. Mm. Yeah, like you wouldn't open that. Like, no, there's not going to have no. printing errors inside no. of it. But they, they do have red logo packs. I'll need to see if there's any like today. online that I can like put um, on the screen. Red logo I with like the Valerion would be so sick. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. We actually, I think we had one signed by Mr. Yeah. Yeah. An error one? A red logo yeah. like, jungle Valerion. They can be, they can be bad. Right. At least, right. Okay. Hey guys, the audio was so goofy for this clip, so here we are in the voiceover, probably a good four months later after I filmed this. But if you're enjoying the video so far, make sure you subscribe and leave a like because it really helps out and I want to do a giveaway at 5k and we're low-key really close, I don't know how, but yep. <laughs> We're somehow nearly at 5k. Also, make sure you comment what your favorite card has been so far. I read all of my comments, so I'll be able to judge you. Just kidding. I do want to see what your favorite cards are, though. Mine pops up in the next shop that we go to, and I wonder if anyone can guess it. If you're in Melbourne, go to Luna Cards. They are my go-to for everything, even PSA grading. And this is literally not sponsored. <laughs> like, they are not paying me to gas them up like this, okay? I just genuinely love the store, love the vibes, love the people who work there. Everyone is just so helpful and friendly, 100% of the time. Mm. Uh, Look at these old, 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 old cards. Wait, what? Cards? Marbles. Look at this. I don't have Pikachu one. Well, I say me, but it's my brother, but I've taken position of it. But it came with these marbles. And if you can see, they've got a print of a Pokemon on it. I did the drawing. Now. The Mew one's cute too, but it's got a gold back with marbles. I think the Charm Mew one's cool. I've got a cocoon. What are you looking at? Looking at the Elden Ring uh, looking at Arceus. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's a 10, too. It's a 10. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I'm grabbing a folder and then two 
Fallout out collector booster boxes. New refreshing take in the Pokemon card community, me not spending money. That was crazy. <laughs> Be so for real. Someone just pulled out in front of us as we were turning. Crazy. Anyway, we're going to Card Cave today. It's in Northcote. They have so much cool stuff and I think they're, they're pretty new, relatively new. I've bought ETBs from there before, specifically a Celebrations one, and like the stuff there is always so well priced. So if you're needing stuff to add to your sealed or just like collectible collection, definitely go check them out. But I don't know, maybe I'll do a... Let's see how fancy I'm feeling. So I'm going to put an outline of an iPhone and then inside of it, I do like as if I've taken a screenshot of, of the card cave. Let's see how that turns out. Okay, all right, let's, let's go. go. These cards are. I, I reckon if I reckon with these cards in particular, yeah, I don't think you would find another PSA ten in Australia. Really? Yeah. So what set are they from? These are like black and white. So these are black and white. This is legendary treasures. Oh. They're both legendary treasures. They're actually silver versions as well. Yeah, I think I've seen the silver ones. So there's one guy in America that collects just the silver ones, and he has like 50 PSA 10s. Oh my god. Yeah. Ridiculous. What? Um, but these ones in particular, I want to just double check. But I think they're only like top 40 in 10s, uh, which is like crazy low for a yeah. Essentially a mass-produced Pokemon card. Yeah, true. Um, but because they're purely gold and like there's so much foil on them, they are so hard to get in tens. Yeah. Mm. Um, like the price jump between a ten and a nine yeah. is outrageous. I think a nine is like three hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> and then these are four thousand five hundred. Like we have raw ones in the case for like hundred fifty bucks. And I'll, they're like, I'll show it here. Yeah, and they're not even that bad condition either. Like, I would they're, say they actually look somewhat alright. Yeah, they're pretty clean. Oh my gosh, the difference in price. That's funny, Even like the gold stars. Gold stars are forever like my favorite cards. Same. Like by far. I love gold stars so much. The, the um, I wish they had uh, the Suicune, Entei, and Raikou. Love. Yeah, they're love. good. I think new gold star would probably be my favorite. Like just the blue, like the blue card with the blue Pokemon. Yeah, very satisfying. And the Lily card, this is such a... It's my favourite modern card of all time. Yeah. Like... Out of 10, 2,300. And then the Japanese version, how much is that the one? The Japanese one is 15 to 20,000. I saw I saw a PSA 7 sell the other week yeah. for 4,000. For a PSA 7. It's crazy. I just, like, those numbers are incomprehensible to me. I know. And like, <laughs> It's annoying when you have the English and the Chinese and you really want to complete that kind of trio set. Because mm. it just feels incomplete without yeah. it. Um, but like you said, $15,000 is a lot of money for a piece of cardboard. Just to like, oh yeah. Oh, there we go, I've got no it. Worries. It's in my case and I'll stare at it once a week. Oh, so nice. Just all the colours, the color. everything. The colours so are just nice. amazing. Ultra Prism. I feel like that set was really slept on. It really was, yeah. and like even now, I think we have an ETB. Ultra Prism ETB. We do. So like, oh yeah. Even that, it's like still criminally underpriced compared to what the hits are. You can get some good trainer hits from yeah. that set. For all we know, that card is gonna be in there. It'll be right there. You never know. You never know. That would make good content. It would. It would. It would also. How much is it? Six hundred. <laughs> 500. Oh, $100 off. 500. I just saved myself $100. Exactly. With that girl math, hell yeah. What about these theme decks? Theme decks are like super slept on, I think. Hmm. Insanely slept on. Obviously, there's not much like value when it comes to the actual cards inside the deck. It just looks so nice. One of my favorite things about getting a lot of these old theme decks as well, as you can see here, a lot of them have the like original stickers mm. from like the uh, toy stores that people yeah. would sell them at. Um, like you'll see a lot of them have like $19.99 stickers on them. 
which would just be insane to be able to pick them up for now. Yeah, I wish. Oh, same. Yeah. Same. I feel like even theme decks nowadays, they're still like 30 minimum. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like for modern sets, like yeah. they suck. But Correct. Yeah. Look at all the fancy stuff you get in the back of it. It's like the essential. This used to be basically like an ETB. If you could just have one card. From that set like, or ever? Any card. That, like any card and it was free. What would you... What would you any card and it was free. There's so many. There's so many. Maybe like, honestly, just like a poncho. You remember the poncho promos? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, just the poncho jolteon and I would be okay. happy. So fun. There's something you want to grab in your cup? Yeah, of The uh, Yunagaba Umbreon. Yeah, like Someone wants it for their birthday, so... I don't know who... I can't, can't believe how much the price of these has gone down. When these came out, yeah, the Umbreon was like $400. It was, but yeah, I guess everyone's now just got their hands on it, I guess. It's because that as well, you could search the backs yeah. for uh, what was in them. Oh, oh the light? Shining a light? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. So that makes sense. People were like just taking up real out of all that. That makes yeah. sense. Okay. But yeah, I want, I want all of these in 10. Yay! Thank you. <laughs> All of those in tens because they're actually attainable.